Welcome to the Liberty Baptist Church's Mission Spotlight. While we support missionaries around the world, we also support missionaries in the good old U.S. of A. If you are new to the Liberty Baptist family, it won't be long before you catch the spirit of missionary celebration and in turn become a shareholder with us. Glenn and Carol Moore are some of the fellow shareholders of Liberty Baptist Mission Celebration. Both Glenn and Carol were faithful members of our church when in early 2000 God called them to leave their professions and by faith, step onto the mission field. The Moors have faithfully served for over two decades with Amazing Grace Mission at state fairs throughout the U.S. God has blessed their efforts, allowing them to see hundreds come to know Christ. This full-time mission ministry is in our very own backyard. The Moors ask that we pray for their health and travel, specifically that their RV requires no unexpected repairs. Leaving the U.S. shores, we travel so far west that we pass the international date line and lose a day. It is here in Manila we meet John and Robert Steffi. John yielded his heart to God at a youth camp and Roberta yielded her heart to God at a youth rally. A few years later, God would introduce them for the first time to each other at a Baptist Bible college. Over 40 years later, John and Roberta Steffi have been faithfully serving together in the Philippines. John says, I am dedicated to the joy of seeing lives changed and hearts touched by the gospel. They report that our new work in General Santo City has regular attenders. Our goal for them is not just to be religious, but to be true followers of Jesus. Presently, our Bible study called Christ Followers emphasizes baptism. There's so much to teach. We thank you, Liberty Baptist Church, for supporting us so faithfully since 2010. Obeying Christ's command to go to all the world takes us to the unusual and primitive Papua New Guinea. In this difficult place, Dave and Carol Holland have pioneered a church planting ministry. While COVID currently keeps them stateside, their trained national, Pastor Kimmon, reports that the churches we help to establish are all doing well. In fact, two of the men that Pastor Kimmon has trained have matured in their walk with God and are now in charge of the preaching. This has allowed Pastor Kim in to visit other churches the Nationals have started. Isn't it exciting to see God preparing another generation to carry on the work? Our last focus in today's spotlight takes us to the land down under. It is here we find Darian Conley, who grew up in our very own youth group and now serves on the mission field of Lakewood, Australia. Travel 380 miles south, southwest from Lakewood, and we will pass through the capital of Sydney to eventually arrive in Canberra. It's here we find Ian and Amanda Richards. While visa documentation and COVID has stranded the Richards family in the States, preaching and administrative duties keep Ian connected to their Australian home church. Ian remains steadfast in his calling and challenges us all to remain faithful in prayer. We can only do so much, but he can do all things. And this completes today's Mission Spotlight. Thank you, Liberty Baptist, for your faithful and continued support. God bless you.